so microstructure imaging is about uh, trying to use an MRI scanner to recover things from tissue that normally you need uh, a microscope to see. So that has some big advantages because it's non-invasive, so you don't have to take a piece of tissue out and chop it up and look at it under a microscope. That means you can do it serially to monitor changes. Um, and obviously it's, uh, it, there's no harm to the patient. Um, but, uh, oh, and the other thing is it means that you can look at a wide expanse of tissue rather than just a small target region that you would get from a biopsy. Um, the thing that you don't get from an MRI scanner is the very fine detail of the tissue that you would get from a microscope. So what we, but what we can do is to measure statistical features of microscopic tissue, so the size of cells, the density of cells, the shape of cells or their configuration, that kind of thing. And these are often some of the earliest signs of neurological disease. So through this kind of technique, um, which brings together ideas from computer science and maths and physics with uh, neuroimaging, uh, the idea is that we can detect earlier changes in the, uh, in the brain that are indicative of, of neurological diseases.